Tragically, Hurricane Barrel killed at least six people, three in Harris County, three in Montgomery County. One of those victims, an HPD employee who drowned while on his way to work today. ABC 13's Jessica Willey spoke to his widow tonight and is near downtown to explain what happened. According to Mayor John Whitmire, Richardson got caught in rising flood water. He called HPD for help. They couldn't reach him in time. It happened here on Houston Avenue as he was exiting I-45. Tonight, as you can see with the barricade behind me, the road is still impassable. Just pause for a moment. Houston Mayor John Whitmire with a moment of silence this afternoon. Horrible situation. After revealing a Houston Police Department employee is among the growing number of storm victims. Acting Police Chief Larry Satterwhite identifying him as 54-year-old Russell Richardson. His widow shared this photo. Richardson, an information security officer in the Office of Technology Services, considered an essential employee. Tier 1, coming to work this morning. We were asking Tier 1 to make it to work. According to the mayor, Richardson was on his way to work as the hurricane was hitting downtown when he got caught in rising flood water as he exited I-45 onto Houston Avenue. His body was recovered from his submerged vehicle this afternoon, and hours later, the water was still seven to eight feet deep. In a statement on social media, Satterwhite wrote, I am deeply saddened to report we lost a member of our HPD family today while he was en route to work during the hurricane. And we ask everyone to keep Russell's family, his wife and children, and his co-workers and friends in your prayers. During Hurricane Harvey, Sergeant Steve Perez, en route to work, also drowned in his patrol car when he drove off the road into flood water in pounding rain. His, a line of duty death, Richardson also serving the public, the mayor said, when he died. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.